Today, we are making homemade wing stock. And y'all, I'm not a cook. I don't cook at all. Like, I can make you a noodle and a hot dog. But my sister can. So she gonna be teaching me how to cook. You got anything to say before we get started? Wash your hands. That's all I gotta say. Wash my hands. Okay. Y'all know I had to come in clutch with the voiceover because we be talking about people. <laughs> Anyways, the first thing we did was we got started on our chicken, we washed them, and then we started to cut them up into the drums and the flats, and then we just threw the tips into a plastic bag. We cut up about six of these to make 12 pieces before we started to warm up our grease. And yes, we used the whole bottle, so don't be acting like y'all don't. The next thing we did was we washed the cutting board we was using for the chicken, and then we started to wash our potatoes so that we could start prepping for our fries. My sister was trying to show me how to cut them up like smaller like into the normal size fries but as y'all can see I was doing them like big wedges like I really didn't know what I was doing. But she ended up helping me out. All we really had to do was like cut them in half. They weren't really that bad y'all for real. But we started putting them all into this bowl and that's how we achieved the shape that we had in the end. I can say that the fries were the easiest thing to make as well as the best thing that was on the plate at the end. Like y'all had heard me say these were better than Wingstop fries. But the next thing we did was wash our chicken and prepped it for seasoning. And we also washed the fries that were in the bowl as well. Since the fries had to get seasoned too, we just put them in a Ziploc bag and put them to the side because we started on the chicken first. And my sister told me to make sure I got this clip in there so y'all don't be saying that we got salmonella on the table and didn't wipe it down. We wiped it down with bleach, y'all. But this is the part she really had me messed up, like I wasn't seasoning the chicken right. Like, girl, come on now. The first thing she told me to put in was the mustard, and that was fine, y'all. That was fine. All the way up until she had to say something like this. Like, what did she even say? Y'all just watch, like, because I don't even know. Mariana, <laughs> you put the <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be salty. Bro, put it in there, cuz. You said you can use the new salt in there. What is this? Chicken bouillon. Okay. Girl, that's exactly what I just did. No, that's not. Yes, it is. That's the amount you need in there. Okay, now you're going to take some chili powder. Anyways, I was trying to show y'all everything we put in there. So we had chicken bouillon, and I put chili powder. And then she took that for me, too, because she was acting like it wasn't enough or something. Like, that, that bowl didn't need to be that red. And then she was just showing y'all that we added some paprika, some ground cumin. We did a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder along with some black pepper because it's not enough pepper. Sorry y'all, that's like a childhood joke. If y'all get it, y'all get it. <laughs> but I ain't finna explain it, so. But after we added all that, we shook it all up and it was already smelling good, y'all. Like, it was really top notch. Like, yeah. The grease still hadn't warmed up all the way, so we decided to start on the seasoning for the fries. And for the fries, we used a little bit of brown sugar, and to portion it all out, we used a tablespoon of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, a little bit of parsley flakes, and some black pepper. That was also chili powder, and then we just crushed it all up together. And after all that was done, we started to finally fry our chicken. Y'all, this chicken took a really long time, so I recommend just putting it in slowly. We put it in all 12 pieces at the same time, and it took a real long time. So just make sure y'all go in smaller portions. Don't do what we did. The next thing to go in was our fries without the seasoning. But while those were frying, we added more seasoning to our chicken and we tossed it around in the bowl that it was in. And these are all the same seasonings that we used before we started frying the chicken. And 
So after a little shakedown, this is how it turned out. It looks so good, y'all. Yeah, don't ever play with the cat. And so after we did that, it didn't take that long for the fries to get done. So we immediately took those out and we put our corn in. After that, we tossed the fries with the seasoning that we made and we were just waiting for the corn to get out. When we got the corn out, she just seasoned it with a little bit of Parmesan and some chili powder and she also just rubbed it down with some butter. Butter, cause butter make it taste better, butter make it taste better. So that's all that was on the menu. This is how the food turned out, child. Real fire. We added some ranch on the side, which was also homemade. Here's a little message from the creator. Yeah, I make the ranch. This is how it came out, y'all. How y'all think we did? Hey, y'all, we finally done. So the wings, we did Louisiana rub. The regular seasoned ranch. Oh, that's the ranch. She made the ranch, too. I don't know what out of. Wait, what all you put for the ranch? I can't. Oh, I, well, I, could, I guess I could tell y'all. It's literally just uh, buttermilk, the Hidden Valley Ranch, and some Hellman mayonnaise. I would never eat Hellman mayonnaise by itself. That's so nasty. Nice. We we grew up on Miracle Whip. It worked for the ranch. Yeah, this is all like a, a wing style recipe. So we got Louisiana rub, the corn, what do you call this? Some Cajun fried corn. Cajun fried corn and then the fries. With all this all this seasoning on them. Girl, I'm about to fade all this. Not all of this. She finna that, but I'm about to fade this. She got us a mango cut, y'all. Y'all see, we finna fade it. This is like pink. Why would you say that? <laughs> hey, I don't know about y'all, but I pray over my food. Okay, okay. That is good. Y'all just say, hey, let us thank you for our food. And she just say, amen. Okay, here we go. Amen. That's a good thing. Okay. I was saying, was we going to get plates and stuff? We said, no, we just going to make bacon. We're going to eat it off the tray. Then in here, she was talking about some. Oh, I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat more than that. Because I said I was only going to eat six wings, and she put six more on there. I'll be getting like a 10 piece when I go to Wingstop. But you gonna eat it all? I'm gonna eat it. You gonna eat it all? I'm gonna eat it all now. Do you, like see, you be lying. What you mean? I do eat it all. I'm saying, were you gonna eat it all in one sitting? In like, one sitting? No, but who feel like making some more chicken when I could just make it now? Mm. I told you I was only gonna eat six. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even eat ranch on my chicken and stuff like that. But I try it for the sake of the video. Bro. You know, it's good. You can't even see me. Hey. How do you put that uh the little caption in the live here? Oh, you gotta start it over. Well. Mm -hmm. You gotta go. I do not use Instagram, y'all. I swear. No, matter of fact, Wait, we on you? the ghetto stuff. We on, uh, we on Facebook with it. I don't know why. Cause you been acting. Oh, so y'all can follow my sister. Oh, my bad. Or her. This is our real energy in real life. Yeah. Should we get a plate for bones? Bro, we get a bag for bones. You talking about a plate? <laughs> well, we need a plate for the bones. I was thinking, where we put them? I'm gonna put them bones right on this tray. I was going but we both eating off this. Oh, we can put them in there. Oh, we can put them in there. Okay. Oh, y'all want to see our dog? Show them our dog. <laughs> Every time we eat them. But y'all, that's the end of this video. If I got, if I had to rate the video, I mean, rate the food, I give it. 10 out of 10. She takes too long. I don't even know why she... It's good, it's y'all, it's good. It's pretty close to what, what you can get at Wingstop for real. It's still 10 out of 10. It's mine. The fries better than Wingstop fries, I ain't gonna lie. For real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finna eat the rest of this food and we finna watch movies. Cause that's the, that's, that's it, that's the rest of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video whenever that is. Bye. Oh, it's Stay Pay Fever Gang. Bye.